rapid 2023 in Chicago. And you know, in 3D printing, rapid prototyping, however you want to describe it, it's more than just about making the part. I'm with Eric Utley, he's technical sales engineer with Proto Labs. Uh, Eric, it's everyone knows how to 3D print a part now, right. but there's more to it than just printing the part, isn't there? Yeah, there's a lot of secondary processes that happen. You know, I think that's something that is really kind of hidden from the public a lot of times. A lot of cuts and edits that really just show someone hitting print on the on the on the printer and then a part popping out on the other side. But especially at an industrial scale, there's a whole lot of back end processes to really improve the part quality and add value to that part. Yeah, now in terms of, of post-processing, of course, a huge amount of the cost of making a part can be finishing it. I mean, depending, of course, your resolution depends on the process, depends on how fast you want to make it. Um, you've got a vapor-based smoothing technology here. Tell me about it. Yeah, so we are, we're now offering a vapor smoothing. So this is a, a, a process for selective laser centering and multi-jet fusion. Uh, printing process is typically used for production printing. And uh, really, it's a value add. It's, it's going to smooth the surface. So it puts the part into a vapor cloud and this vapor will condense on the surface and act as a solvent on the surface and will uh, take a normally kind of uh, uh, textured fin finish on the part and make it a little glossier, seal the parts in, and uh, makes them look much more like a production molded part. Would you expect that this would replace a sanding or, or a grinding process? Yeah, absolutely. Like we have this red hand here. Uh, this part was vapor smoothed and then painted. And so this uh, knocked off uh, on the scale of hours per part. You know, so this is really kind of increasing the threshold of, of viability, whereas, you know, maybe we would look at the part like that and say, okay, you know, you're going to do five or 10 of these, but then you start looking at another process like molding or urethane casting. Now I think that number's up to like 50 to 100 um, because, you know, we can, we can print them all at one time, vapor smooth them all at one time, fix them in a paint booth and paint them all at one time, and the labor's really quite low. And of course, the obvious question from a production standpoint is what if I need to paint or top coat this part in this thing? After the vapor smoothing process, will it hold a finish? Yes. Yeah, that's that's a, a really great uh, application of this is that it, it smooths out the finish, but still has a little bit of texture on there to kind of grab the paint. So we found it uh, to be really successful at vapor smoothing as a not only as a process in of itself to give a nice uh, aesthetic finish, but also as a, as a paint prepping process so that a uh, customer can request that we paint it uh, a specific color that they're looking for. Vapor smoothing, a lower cost, highly effective second op or finishing process for 3D printed parts, says Eric Utley at Protolabs. At Rapid TCT 2023, the air was electric. The excitement about manufacturing America is palpable. New technologies, new ways of implementing additive manufacturing, not just for prototyping, but as a true production process, were all over this show floor. The future looks very bright for manufacturing America based on what we have seen here. Thanks for joining us on the show floor. See you next time. Today's episode is brought to you by Engineering.com, a globally trusted source for engineering content. Check out this and many other exclusive videos for the engineering professional found only on Engineering.com TV today.